so let us talk about boundary finding uh, first of all let us see what is the difference between these edges and boundaries because we have already seen this edges and edge detection so edges uh, they have local intensity discontinuities they have local intensity uh, discontinuities while uh, these boundaries uh, can uh, be extensive uh, edges are points and these points are uh, few points are joined as a line or a edge and there is a sharp change of the intensity and edges are not dependent on the models so this is an example of local edge point or edge element while in the boundaries uh, it is extensive as you can see it's, uh, you know you have a start point you have an end point it's performing or giving a proper shape that is this is composed of many points not just few points but many points and this may be dependent on the models this is very important so typically our goal or our aim is to reconstruct the boundary from the local edge elements so to group edge points we may need a domain or object model uh, that we are going to see just now apart from this these boundaries if you can uh, group individual local edge elements individual local edge elements we can fit a line or a curve to them and this will result in finding the object boundary so these may be the edge elements what we can do is we can group group few of them which uh, you know performs or they uh, you know they, for some necessary condition they fulfill and this is the best line this is the best face fit line which you can obtain now these best fitting line or best fitting curve is actually the boundary of the object now uh, what about the knowledge uh, about uh, boundary uh, here we uh, have more knowledge we have less knowledge what does it say we can extract the complete close contour a close contour of an object if its shape is known if you are aware of the shape we can construct it and we can extract pieces of this boundary using this general line or curves model or rather we can just try to find a connected series of this edge uh, elements using only heuristics um, on say edge curvature so if you have uh, less knowledge what you can do is this if you have good knowledge about the shape you can really do uh, because it's a priori knowledge is very good obvious now uh, finding line segments by fitting to contours how it can be done this is one line from start to end this is the vector so line approximation is approximate uh, we can approximate a segment by a line between its end points split at a point with largest error uh, repeat until approximation is good means we split this line here join this line again we have this vector we have this vector and again split it here this two point of splitting is there then again you can continuously do it uh, for n1 to uh, you know whatever uh, number of time uh, which actually suits your line which sometimes or uh, you know mostly or completely covers or fit the contour now finding lines via half transform this is a very very good transform and widely used widely employed now this half transform is useful for detecting any parametric curves may it be lines or conics so this is very very good transform and this is relatively unaffected by the gaps in curves and noise this is the most important property which uh, need to be emphasized that half transform is actually or relatively uh, as compared to our kenny and uh, other operators sobel they uh, are actually uh, somewhat affected by the gaps in curves and noise but this is not and given a set of edge points uh, we find the lines which best explain the data so what uh, we uh, actually you know proceed when we talk about hopf transform is that a line has two parameters m and b please please you know understand very carefully because this is typical hopf transform is not very easy to understand so this is a line which is given by y is equal to mx plus b or y is equal to mx plus c as you have learned in your uh, academics 
Now this line, this particular line has a slope m and an intercept of b. If I, if I join here, this is b and m is the maybe this angle, okay? Not maybe, but this exactly this angle. This is m, which is the tan theta, and this this particular line is b. Now this is a line. Now what we intend to we want to fit fit a line or a curve or a line to a curve or a curve which is specifically line to a curve. Now giving given a point this x0 y0 the lines that could pass through this point are all m and b satisfying this equation. You call it x0 y0 any 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 line which is passing through x0 y0 will be passing through this x0 y0 maybe it equation this m and b will remain constant okay now what uh, half says that okay this is fine but let us take it to the parametrized uh, space parametric space means i just rearrange the elements here and say that b is equal to minus x0 m plus y0 now this becomes b and m becomes the variables now which were not in this case these were the constants x and y were the variables now here we have b and m as the variables and x0 and y0 will be changing will be changing so half transform says what it says that all points on a line in a image space this is a image space yields line in parameter space this is a parameter space which intersect at a common point all points in a line in a image space these are the lines okay these are the points in a line so all points in a line in a image space will yield lines in parameter space which intersect so why not why the the basic idea is these there are various points now i want a line to be passing through these points so why not to go to the parametric space and just find a point and all those lines will give a point which are on the same line let, let me show you this is equal to y is equal to m dash x plus b dash now this x1 y and x2 y all all these these one and two points they are passing through y is equal to mx plus b when i go to the parameter space and just rearrange them b is equal to minus x2 m y2 and b is equal to minus x1 y1 these are the variables right b and m are the variables but x2 x2 y2 this these both line will this this red red point is corresponding to a line in this parameter space and this blue uh, point is corresponding to this blue line so they pass through a single point so we'll find all those lines in parameter space which pass through this point and we say okay all those points we can fit a line so this is the simple idea of half transform see how how simple it is to find a line or a curve so what uh, half uh, you know in this in the next step what half transform algorithm does it initiates or in initialize an accumulator array this a this is an accumulator array m b this is m this is b to zeros all these are zeros let uh, let this be the uh, first step now for each edge element x y increment all cells that satisfy b is equal to minus m, m x y just by saying this what i said we have two points or a line passing through two points so this one point has come from this one one point one intersection point or two lines have come from two points if i have one more point this is also coming from this if i have i have one more point this is also coming from this so we say the, these four points are contributing to this particular point so what half says that okay these are there are the 10 points which voted for this line mb right these are the 10 points these are the three points these are the three points which voted for these are 10 10 points in the parametric space so all these points this is called the, the these are a and b uh, which were actually initialized to zero by half algorithm or half transform now we have certain points after we transfer to the 
uh, parametric space. Now this is the maximum, 10 is the maximum. Now this 10 maximum we take. This is the local maxima in AMB which correspond to the lines. Now all uh, from all these points we just this, take this 10 which is the local maximum. Right? Hope you understood this. But there are some problems. What is the problem? This uh, parametric space in the, this space uh, does not uh, allow us to go to uh, you know if theta is 90, uh, angle is uh, 90 degree how to represent it because it will become m equal to m, m is 10 theta 10 90 is not defined how to define that for that and also there is a constant resolution okay uh, constant resolution is also not defined in uh, this parametric space so now we come to our polar coordinate representation of line whatever i have told you it is exactly the same in this polar coordinate representation of a line which i uh, told you about this parametric space but only the, the problem was that to avoid infinite slope and for constant resolution we go to this polar coordinate representation this is nothing but this is rho is equal to x cos theta plus y sin theta and in this x and y plane what is theta? Theta is the angle. This and rho is the distance from origin to this line. This is the perpendicular distance. And rho is the, uh, theta is the angle which this rho is making from the center to this, uh, this line is making from the x-axis. So what we define here is this theta minimum, theta maximum, rho minimum, rho maximum. Right? Now in that particular case, uh, last, in this case, what we uh, achieve, we achieve a point uh, of lines, line is intersecting a, a point at a, at a pair point, but here will not get a line because this is actually a, a slope cos theta sin theta. So we'll get a corresponding uh, curve for a line and these this point which is intersecting is our point of interest and these curves are actually the um, contributing and will take a maximum of it right this theta minimum we take as a 90 degree minus 90 degree this we take as plus 80 degree 89 degree this we take as uh, you know it depends on what is the size i'll show you the with the example so uh, let me uh, you know exemplify it angle axis and convention what half transform takes as i earlier suggested this is x this is y this is your actual x y cartesian points this is rho and this is theta and this line equation which was actually y is equal to mx plus c is now given by rho is equal to x cos theta plus y sin theta this angle range we assume is from minus 90 degree to plus 89 degree the rho range is from minus d max to d uh, plus d max what is d this is the maximum distance this is a diagonal distance so d max is the largest possible distance right this is the largest possible distance so let us take a point 50 and 100 now what all you can get from 50 to 100 this is the point of cartesian uh, 50 and 100 location now i have a, i can have a line passing through this like this like this i can have a line like this i can have a line like this and i can even have a line like this so for all these conditions, let us see, for a line which is passing from 50 to 100 and this is a say, you can say it is a parallel to y axis, rho is what? This is 50, nothing but this is the distance, rho is 50 and theta is what? What is the angle? There is no angle, it is 0 degree. Coming to 45 degree, if the line is like this, line is like this, theta is 45 degree and what is the distance? This distance is? 50 this is 50 okay this is 50 and we take a root 2 because this is 45 50 root 2 so the this is cos 45 simple angle this is 45 cos 45 50 100 sin uh, 45 this is we just place the values in this particular equation and we get the uh, this, this row as 75 root 2 now if this is line which is passing through this and making angle like this what to do for that because this angle will become 135 degree right this angle will become 135 degree what we do we take theta as minus 45 degree and what what we are going to do is we take 100 not as plus but we'll take as a as a minus so this is minus 100 and minus 45 degree 
rather than going to 135 degree we can come to minus because our range is only like this so we can just change the directions and we can rather than doing this we do this right and for this particular case if the line is passing through 50 and 100 and it is horizontal or means it's parallel to x-axis what we are going to do is we are going to find the row row is simply minus 100 because in this direction and theta is again say 90 degree right this is minus 90 degree because it is, it is uh, this was always for cl clockwise this was, was for anti-clockwise hope you understood of transformation and let us take one more example if these are the point one two three four five and for any point if you take any point which uh, uh, this is hundred by hundred this is hundred by hundred means this is hundred and this is hundred so first for find out the row what is the row uh, this is the direct this is uh, the you know uh, largest distance this is what if this is hundred and this is the largest this will be hundred square plus hundred square this will be okay hundred root two so this uh, row minimum will take as minus 144 and row maximum will be taken as 144 this is nothing but 100 root 2 which we uh, formulated from here and theta as you know we have taken minus 90 to uh, plus 89 now theta is uh, 0 in between row is 0 in between so we'll just uh, try to find out the points and this point red point what is this this is if i draw a line here the distance will be zero okay the row will be zero and angle will also be zero so my point will be this right and if i come here if i take um, at set the point two and if i just make uh, this line i'm not going to this first just make this line what will be the distance the, again the row will be uh, zero and this row will be 0 and theta will be what row this row will be 100 sorry and it will be 100 and this theta will be 0 so my point will be like this so making all those points for every every line going to every line which i just told you in the earlier side side i will have a line like this i will have a line like this and this will be my intersection so this is all about your half transform and once you get the point once you get the point in this space you can transfer it to your uh, main plane and you'll get a line out of it for example this is a, a 502 by 564 aerial image of an airport this is the edge image uh, this is the edge image which is obtained by Kenny algorithm and this is the half parameter space the boxes highlight these are the boxes these are the boxes which highlights uh, the boxes highlight the point associated with the long vertical lines these two lines and these are the lines, the image plane corresponding to the points highlighted by the box. And these are the lines superimposed on the original image. See, these lines are very specific, very good, and very usable. And this is the pseudo code. If you want to implement it, this is rho uh, x cos theta plus y sin theta. You have to use this uh, if and end a number of times. You can increment this by 1 to the cell edge corresponding to this theta rho. Even just this is only just because if you want to program it and uh, not uh, you know for if you are not into programming. So as your points can be linked to form a meaningful uh, region boundaries and line and seg line segments can be fitted into edge points if connected. If a connected series of edge points is available, that is uh, this contours which is which are produced by logy or. Uh, can you detector then you can recursively split the contour and fits line segment to each portion if edge points are not necessary connected you can use the half transform method to find the line so you, you can always use log and Kenny. if not uh, you have problem you can go to half transform the half, half transform can be applied to find any parameterized curve this was all about our um, half transform or you you can say this was about our boundary uh, studies. Thank you so much.